I think we could get started and uh, yeah, definitely. we'll go through everything that you built. Well, and then at the end, we'll probably send the spreadsheet to him so that he can take a look at it. Um, he has a business partner that's going to probably join. I don't know if he's going to be on this call, but this would be helpful to provide him with uh, what we go over today. Yeah. Okay. Go. Perfect. Okay. You guys can see me now. Yeah. Yeah. We can see. Yeah. You. Yeah. We can see you. Okay. We can see you a little. Yes. yes I do. Oh, so just to go off of uh, what um, Nick just said, I do have another person. Um, well, he's my business partner for a lot of other things. I talked to him about this, and uh, he's interested. He's also my numbers guy because I know numbers a little bit, but he knows them inside out, kind of a CPA mindset. So. Um, Looking forward to to this meeting. I actually, have been for quite a while since I got Nick's message. Um, so yeah, very very optimistic, and looking to hear what you guys have. Cool. Thank you. Thank you for for time. Also, also you. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna share my screen. Okay. Okay. So so I prepared an exercise mm -hmm. uh, on on two different lots for you. So the first lot it has a surface of. 750 square meters or 8072 square foot this this lot allows you to to build eight condos and the price the i mean here we're, we're on, on this part of the screen the lot has a price of three hundred and thirty seven thousand uh, dollars the price list and it let, lets you build eight apartments and each apartment will have a surface of 1,410 square feet. Then you will have, uh, if you multiply that number by eight units, you will have a total of 11,281 um, square, square feet for sale. And the average price that, that you could sell uh, those apartments is at the price per square foot of $269. Then it will cost you to build it uh, $1,579. So in, in a resume, you will be getting a condo. You will be getting eight condos that you can sell for a minimum price of $308,000. And this takes you to, to be able to achieve a total profit of $779,000. So the total cost for, for the building of, of this will be somewhere around the 2.2 million. And the profit could increase if you don't invest any capital on that. So for example, if you buy the lot and then you just pay uh, the architect to make you the design of the building, and then you get the renders, make a brochure with the pre-sales, uh, you can build the actual uh, project. And then your, your ROI could increase a lot very substantially actually. Okay. So here on this chart, we included everything that, that um, it will impact in your, in the building of your project. Since the price of the land, uh, how much in average an architect will charge you for uh, uh, making you the project. Everything that has- Are to those numbers with... that you're going over right now, are they uh, US dollars or Mexican pesos? Here on all these- and on this okay, column yeah. is on, on, on US dollars, yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> then uh, you will have another cost of uh, around $121,000, which will include all the legal cert, all, all the legal uh, documents, licenses, construction uh, licenses, and everything regarding with the municipality. That includes like the land survey, the permits, and all of that? Yeah, it's 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 all the permits as, um, as well as it, the architectural design. The, the architectural design is, is here on number ten. Here where it says project. Yeah, maybe if, if you want, let's write uh, architectural design here. And then you will spend around uh, one point two million for the for the construction. Uh, and that, that will be the total cost that will include the common areas, everything that has to do with the, uh, with the building and also other construction fees that may be involved there. 
then you have uh, developer developer fees which they will only impact if you hire like an extra supervisor that will be um, going to verify and be on the construction site all the time verifying that everything is done so this is this is this one uh if you already have somebody or you you, you could do yourself or maybe a deal with the with the developer uh, maybe we could avoid this ninety one thousand dollars fee okay then uh you will need to you will need to spend around another three hundred and fifty and fifty thousand dollars but that will be only when the sales happen because you will need to pay sales commission a tax and some closing expenses within a very public okay, so now the 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 marketing ex in sales is that to purchase the land or is that sales once everything is already done and constructed so the way that works is like you build the building and let's say let's just say for instance you hire me and my team to sell this building we have in this example nine percent incorporated into the marketing and sales expenses so the the price of each unit is a little bit to the left out of that marketing it's included in here so you would sell each unit i can't remember the number Yomez, but that number it's on the right there okay so for 379 each unit you would amount nine percent um like commission towards the team for instance myself to sell each unit and so out of that out of eight units at nine percent it would amount to three hundred and forty seven thousand six hundred ninety one or six hundred ninety seven point two that's correct right Yomez? yeah that, that's correct yeah that's correct and and that that also includes um uh, monthly marketing expenses to create ads and try to to generate leads which uh, eventually they will convert into the, the buying customers and this is based on a conservative number meaning that the numbers are a little bit higher so that we have some room to play with right so leo just just so you know the way that i you know connected with you is through mm -hmm. my channel i have a large number of people that come to my channel I've actually sold entire buildings before we even had any marketing material. So the number here, the number that the amount that you would have to put down is not that one. What was the number Yomez? 1.2, 1. 1. 1. 1.2 million. You don't have to invest that much because we're relying on, um, what's it called on uh, pre-sale money. So, I'm just going to back up a little bit in the sense, just so that you understand. So when we, when we sell the unit, if, if, if you just, if you will just let me make a parenthesis, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I, I, I would just like to point uh, Leo that this is like the most uh, stressful scenario. So this is the worst case scenario yeah. where, where the, the price that we're selling the, the square meter is around um uh, this sorry the square foot is around 270 dollars or per square meter at 2900 dollars so in tulum there there are not these prices anymore especially on um if, it, if it's any type of gated community with uh infrastructure those condos go for around three thousand and five hundred minimum up to almost six thousand dollars so this is very conservative the number that we put on the sales and also to stress the ROI, we created this scenario of, as if uh, you and your partners had to invest 100% of the money of the construction. So this, this okay. is the worst case scenario. Yeah. Okay. All, then, right. So as, I'm as, all right. So I'm understanding from the marketing and the sales expenses, that's just commission on sales. I, exactly. I get that completely because I real estate on the side. So I get it. I just wasn't sure if that was also rental. Like no. if that included that wasn't, so that's why I was a little confused. Okay. Okay. So it's only, yeah, only exactly. sales. So it, it, so what we're marketing it here, let's say we buy eight, I want to keep two. This is for the sale of the other six to offset the, the price of the, the overall project. Yeah. That would probably come out of your profit. 
So if you ended up keeping that, that 779 number at the partner's profit, you mm -hmm. would end up keeping those units and basically having the equity there and that would subtract from that 779. Okay. Yeah, and also and also we could, uh, I mean, late, later we, we can adjust to a more uh, optimistic scenario if we want, the sales income, if we increase the price uh, per square foot. And also if, uh, like Nick was mentioning, if you're going to obtain the resources to, to make this project from the pre-sales, then the ROI will increase very, very, very much. Okay. So, sorry to interrupt you, Nick. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. You thought it was important to, to, to point that it was uh, the most conservative scenario. Yeah. Okay. So the, the 40, the 46.69 percent ROI is that, uh, that's the whole project, uh, bought and sold, correct? All eight units come in, all eight units come out. That's 46%. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in the case that, that you had to invest somewhere around $1.2 million. That, that's why, that, that's why the, the ROI looks so small. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and I also added here this, uh, this, this plot. So, so you could see that, um, uh, this lot particularly is one of the best that we have in the project because it's a corner. So you can have a, a building that has two different fac facades facing a street, or you get, you could have also two access. And then the rest of these lots are 500 square meters. And this one is 750 square meters. So it gives you an opportunity to develop instead of, uh, instead of making uh, only six units, like in the other ones here, you can make eight and have bigger spaces to, to leave them for the green areas or parking spaces as well. And Yilmaz, okay. explain, explain to him the yeah. benefit of having the corner unit when it comes to um, uh, registering it with the municipality. Yeah, so, so when, when, when you have a corner unit, uh, Basically, you wanted to to have two streets that they come on 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 two, two different sides. So, so you can have an access. Uh, the, the 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 thing that Nick is telling you is that, for example, in this case, since you have those two two streets, you could make two different projects if you if you will wish to split the lot, for example. In a legal way, you can split the lot, but in the case of the other ones, if they are not a corner, it's not possible because they don't have the secondary street that will give you access, for example, for this back part of the lot. Okay. No, I, I, I get it. I get it. You have dual access easement and I see that it's right next to the common areas that we discussed before. Yeah. It's yeah. Right that, that's right. That's right. Okay. And then, and then, um, we have also, uh, available this lot, which is facing the amenities as well. And this one is a smaller one. This one, this one is 5,381 square feet. And on this one, you could make six units and the cost for that lot is $225,000. And then here you can also uh, play with different things like having views directly to the amenities and also being on, on, on one of the premium lots. And also on this scenario, we have uh, the same case as in the other one where it, it, it will depend also on, like we said, if, if we will try to sell your, your project through pre-sales, then that, that, that will be the best way to, to raise capital mm -hmm. through sales and, and you're not needing, needing to invest on this. So basically you will, you will just need to put like probably like $150,000 to, but not immediately only on the reconstruction if you will want to have the license and, and the construction um, permits. If not, with the, with the, with the part with, which is the architectural design mm -hmm. and a little, bit, a little bit of marketing material, then you could start to promote the project and raise the capital, actually. So you wanted to okay. like have maximum $30,000, $40,000 in, in total. Okay, so now, 
See, now you're speaking more of my what what I got in my pocket. When you were saying 3.2 and 1.5 million, I started to sweat it a little bit. But he, no, 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 worries. I want, no, no, that, that, that's like that's like in a scenario where where uh, let's say that that you would say, you know what, I don't want to take any bank credit, and I don't want to be dealing with the pre-sales because uh, also in the pre-sales you can sell for a little bit less, right? That's why we we went to the to the scenario where you don't put any money. And then in order to be able to sell to friends and family, you give them a, a, a very, very discounted price. So, so you can raise money from the first or the second unit, and then you can um, explore the development, right? So, Okay, no, I, I, so far, so far, I like it. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking building these many units and everything, but everything you're saying so far makes, makes kind of sense. Yeah. Thank so you. And also, you don't have to and also, necessarily yeah, have, sorry. you don't have to necessarily have all of this money up front. So the way that it would work is you buy the land like you plan to, and with that we get the architectural design. And at that point, you would hire someone like myself or or whoever to kind of be the person to do your marketing, right? And our incentive is to sell the units and we would get some sort of commission, right? So 9% commission. So the way that when you sell it is that the buyer, they can put down 30%. Usually it's typically around 30% up front and that allows you so it's out of 10. Uh -huh. So that allows okay. you to buy the materials and then throughout the build, let's say it takes 18 months. We now splint split the remaining 70% up along the next 18 months. So as things go, you know, you end up the, the buyer ends up paying the 70%. So ideally for a developer like yourself would be to have minimum like 60% of the total build um, with the, and that includes the land up front, which would be, you know, in this case around your 350, 400,000. And then the remaining money would come from your, your, uh, pre-sales. And so with those pre-sales that funds the remaining amount of, of the build. And okay. the way that you cover that is you have a, like a, what's it called? Like, a uh, what is the word called? I don't know how to say the word. It's like a, like a cushion, right? So you have like another maybe $20,000 in cushion for whether it be marketing or whether it be for any sort of construction materials. And that way you, you yeah. don't have to put up this 1.6 million yourself, right? So you've bought the land and now the pre-sales are paying for the entire build. And, and okay, that's that, that. That's great. Makes sense. What is the time frame? Let's say I get you a check, whatever's needed to start the purchase of the land. Um, when would construction be needed? Is uh, Pininfarina to have a set time frame when we have to have things constructed, or what is? So uh, basically, what is that? basically, uh, we are requesting for the for the benefit of all the community that in that no longer than in the next five years, let's say. So oh, because, okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so, that's, so the, oh, that's the, kind of fun. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah because, because, because the, the, the most that is built there, uh, it, it will increase the, the, the capital gains of everybody. So yeah, let's okay. say that five years, it, it, okay. it's, it will be the time. Yeah. Okay. So let's also, say, yeah. let's say I buy it now. Great opportunity. Mm -hmm. I hold it for six months. Am I paying interest? Am I paying anything? for as um to the municipalities taxes um any bills that i would need to pay just for having the land it, it depends on if you pay it in cash uh once the title of deed is issued under your name yeah but the but the taxes at this stage that doesn't have the infrastructure yet they will be okay. very low they will be somewhere around maybe everything you will have to pay to the municipality it will be in the range of 250 dollars per year Oh, okay. And it's like 0.08% or 0.1% of the value of 
the land. So a $200,000 property is 200 bucks a year for, for, for that. And you don't have to pay that until you close on the land, but ideally, you know, you're going to, in order to build, you have to have the deed and the permits. So when you do that, then yeah, it'll be like point point 0.1% is about the right amount of money for the taxes. Okay. No, that that's, that's perfect. I just, I didn't want to jump into a project that I was already behind the wheel and catching up to the other investors, having to meet certain criteria land. We have to break on land. I didn't want any of that. Uh, yeah. So that right this, immediately. Y Yomaz, explain to him that this project, I think we're going to start breaking ground for the amenities in December. And so when that happens, that means like the water filtration system is going to go in, the electricity, all of, all right, the, um, question, all of the amenities will be starting. Yomaz, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's December. And so yeah, yeah, it's December. When, when they start to break, break ground, that means mm -hmm. that the the amenities will be there. Think of like a neighborhood, right? So you have like the streets, the cul-de-sacs, the the electricity, the sewer system, all of that. And then you have what what you're looking to invest in is now a piece of land and now you can start building whenever you whenever you decide, right? So you have enough time to build up you know, some sort of marketing material, some sort of hype, some sort of, um, you know, development with the architect to design your project. And you don't have to, there's no, I mean, yeah, I guess there's a five year time limit, but you don't have to build right away. So okay. even if you bought this piece of land and let's just say worst case scenario, your partner or you don't want to do this anymore you still have the piece of land that grew in equity to where now because the amenities have gone in, because the airport is there, because the train is there, you know, you still gained some sort of equity and you could also just resell the piece of land. Um, but these, okay, these numbers are just to explore what it would take to, to build either a six unit or an eight unit, depending on which lot you purchase. Right. Mm -hmm. and then kind of all the breakdown of the fees. Um, right. You know what? And, and I'll send you another video of me sitting down with, with another developer where he explains kind of how this works uh, a little bit further in depth where mm -hmm. you can probably share it with your partner so that you can match that discussion up with these numbers. Yeah. Okay. Um... All right, to go along with what you were saying about the timing of breaking ground and construction, um, the pre-sales that we were do we were discussing before, um, when do those pre-sales take place? Will we try to sell immediately? Wait for wait for ground to be broken? Like you said, every every new step in the development process probably increases price a little bit. So how does that work? So the way that I have yeah. done it is the second that you have some sort of design, even before the renders, we can start talking about it, right? So the idea is, I mean, this this is a pretty high-end development because Bina Fidina is a part of it, because it's going to be, you know, a big name behind it. We can start discussing it where we have a general idea. You know, maybe we're going to build on the first floor uh, really, really big, three bedroom apartments with a pool, right? The second floor might be two bedrooms with a, uh, a pool on the balcony because it's a little bit higher up. And instead of using another bedroom, we have a pool. And the third, the third and fourth floor might be two bedrooms on the third floor and a penthouse on the fourth floor with two bedrooms. And so if we have that kind of rough idea, um, we, we can start discussing that just from the idea. And I've done that. I've, I've done that in the okay. past where we have a rough idea and we gain interest and people start wanting to be a part of it. Um, the second that the architect releases the, the plans. So basically the architect will do, you know, the piping, the electricity, the, you know, the actual 
the actual layout of everything with that. Now we have something to show. And so we incentivize them with, okay, listen, you know, we have an 8% discount with a 40% down payment, or we have a 6% discount with a, with a, or maybe even higher, like a 9% discount with a 50% down payment, because we want to incentivize them to put a higher down payment so that we can cover the cost of construction. Right. Yeah. So when it comes to the build, we really have to just discuss that in the contract or the agreement. So we can make an agreement where we give ourselves a buffer, you know, six month delivery. I, I, well, no, I'm not saying six month, like maybe like an 18, 18 month delivery where the total amount is due at 18 months, but we know that we can sell it within 18 months. But if it gets completed by month 15, then we're ahead of schedule, right? So we have to plan for, you know, maybe two weeks of bad weather, uh, maybe a, a week and a half or two weeks of missed shipment of cement or, you know, rebar or something like that. Like we'll put a buffer in the agreement that we want to over promise and under, uh, we want to under promise and over deliver. And so gotcha. it really comes down to what you guys want to do, how fast you want to move, but also at the same time, you know, what, uh, at the same time, like what the realistic expectations are. So we don't want to set you up for failure where we're promising something in 15 months, but we don't have 60% of, of the funds. Right. So it really just comes down to numbers and that's what the point of this call is so that you can kind of figure out, okay, your budget, you know, what it is, because there's no difference in saying, yeah, it's going to be ready in 13 months when we can just extend it to 19 months or 20 months. Like that's not, you know, it, it's better for you to just extend it out further so that we can get more pre-sales and then we will we'll factor in the discounts. Um, you know, a developer will probably offer like three at a 10% discount, maybe two at a 15% discount, because we also want to make money. We don't want to sell everything right before we even have started building. You know, you want to build some hype around it. So you end up getting more money. No, and, and also, also I would like to I would like to add to you that uh, there is no obligation on on the minimum units that you need to to build on these lots. I mean, you could also use them for a single family home if you, if if uh, that fits better instead of making condos, and then it will decrease um, some expenses. For example, for the lot in the first instance, it will be cheaper if we take down the density. And also, it will have uh, it will have a little bit less need on the power of the services, so we could discount it if you're going to make just a single house, let's say on 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 these lots. And also, the the permits and the all the all the permits with the municipality they change because every lot they have a density for a house, right? Let's say by in a, in automatic, and and when you increase it to four, five, ten units. Then they charge you somewhere around, I don't know, like a couple of thousand dollars per per unit that you're making for the paperwork in the municipality. No, I I I get it. I get it. And um, you know, all this information is great. It just it gives a lot of options. A lot of options that I was not uh, thinking about. Uh, so this is going to be a good conversation with uh, with my friend. So um, thank you very much for, for for all this. I was not uh, this was a lot of information that I wasn't expecting, but uh, good. Good. I actually like that second lot that you that you have, the one that's slightly mm -hmm. smaller, because it just has a better view. Okay. Okay. That that one on the on the Excel file, it's it says like five hundred square meters, but mm -hmm. we change it to, to to square foot on the on the chart. Okay. No, I, I get it. I get it. Um. All right. This this seems good. I still haven't I still haven't received the email. Okay. I uh, I got it. I got the email. Uh, yes, sir. Perfect. That would be more than more than great. Um, I actually saw the email with your book uh, a little bit earlier, 
So I will definitely give it uh, give it a look and a review. Uh, I did have one question. I noticed on the on the Excel there was a part for bank interest. Um, is that if I do take a loan from the bank, or is there some type of interest incurred in the the process? Do I have to go through? No, that that one that um, that cell it, it it's uh it's there to calculate an interest in case that you took a bridge loan to make the construction of the building. Okay. Okay. Perfect. During the process, during the process, there are not uh, there are not any any type of interest involved. Okay. Great. Um, other question. I know we had discussed before. I discussed it with Nick. Uh, Fide Comiso to buy land there would uh, the same apply to this project? That would need a Fide Comiso. Yeah, that's right. That that's that's uh, that applies because of the distance from the project to the sea. Okay. So okay. Are, are um, you, and all are you all Mexican? legal are lawyer you? everything that's included in the price um, for that's in there for all the admin stuff. Or do uh, I have the, to do that separately? Do you mean do you mean if it's included in the price of the lot? Well, if it's included in the whole price and package and everything that you are providing, or do I have to do that separately and then bring that to the project? That that's included in the part if you make the, the building. Yeah, that's okay. that's already included there on, on, on certain expenses. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Glad to know. Yeah, I mean we we try we try to, to include uh all the possible expenses that may and may not come on the on the process while you'll be developing this. So like like I was mentioning, uh, when we will review it with more detail, um, we could maybe take down some of the building expenses from there. Okay. Depending on the type of the project, yeah. Okay, that is uh, perfect, perfect. All right. Um... That's really all I have. I actually am very excited to go over these numbers and and start looking at them uh, slowly. Um, but yeah, no, it's been a great, great, great call. Thank you for all the information. Um, I got a lot to review. Do you guys have anything else I think would be pertinent for me um, at this moment? Um, well, I think I think um, regarding the chart, no. But uh, please let us know at any. And at any time, uh, any question that you may have regarding okay. uh, any sales or or any numbers on the on the Excel. I guess actually, I have, have one this. more one yeah. more yeah. question. I just thought of. Uh, what about insurance? I know here in the U.S. we have homeowners insurance and all that stuff. Is anything of that nature required um, throughout the purchase of the land, through the selling of the properties? Do I need any type of insurance for that? You you will need you will need to consider an insurance when you will be building for the workers and also for, for if, if you will like to ensure the, the, the project that you're making. I mean, okay. there, there is a mandatory insurance, which is the, regarding the third parties civil uh, responsibility, but also you can insure the property. Okay. All right. I guess that bridge will cross when we get there. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm uh, good right now. Thank okay. you very much for your time, guys. Thank you, Alberto, Nick, Sounds Ilmez. Good. Thank you. Thank you, you're, uh, you know, you're far away, so it means a lot. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Um, and please let, uh, if you could let Nick uh, know about um, any type of payment plan that you would like to 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 review, so we could come to the final price and uh, and to, to see what we can do about the price and also to calculate some. Um, I don't know if you would like to, to pay it in cash for a higher discount or you will want to defer it in months. So whenever you could figure out that, if you could let Nick, we could send you different proposals. Yeah, no, I have a, I have a bit of cash, definitely not the 1.2, but you know, enough to start moving. So I'll go over the numbers with my friend, um, my partner, and see what would be best for us. But I definitely do like the way that sounds. Um, I love this these possibilities of acquiring the land and, you know, selling as we go to raise capital. Um, so this is all fantastic stuff and uh, looking forward to just finding out more and moving forward with this process. So I will be in touch with Nick um, for next steps once I go over and review all these numbers and we can see we can go from there. Okay, thank you very much, Leo. Sounds thank good. you, Nick. Thank you, Alberto. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Have a nice day, everybody. You too. Bye -bye. Thank you guys. Bye.